Hey, what's up, y'all? Y'all know my slogan. I don't know it all, but I know what I've been through. Now, before we get into this video, please make sure you head on down to Instagram and follow us on our official Instagram page at hookah anonymous underscore. All right, we're able to be a little more explicit, a little more uncensored. And share content freely without running the risk of having our channel terminated. So, once again, make sure you head on down to Instagram and follow us on our official Instagram page at Anonymous underscore. Alright, now let's get into what you guys came here to see. Now, it looks like Trey Songz landed himself in some legal trouble yet once again after he's being accused of assaulting a woman in a New York bowling alley. Now, the complaint was filed last month by an employee of the bowling alley who stated that the alleged assault took place in one of the bathrooms at the bowling alley. Now, the victim who wishes to stay anonymous claims that Trey Songz punched her repeatedly and dragged her by the hair, causing her to seek medical attention. The alleged victim was taken to a nearby hospital and treated for what the NYPD officers described as visible but yet minor injuries. Now, a source close to the investigation says that Trey Songz has been cooperative with police and expects that when all the evidence is reviewed, he will be exonerated. And his attorney also says, quote, this is another instance where those involved try to blame the celebrity with hopes of getting fame or riches. Now, Trey Songz is no stranger to the law when it comes to assault charges, especially with women. If you remember, he was accused of sexually assaulting a woman while celebrating his birthday in Vegas in November of 2021. Now, although he was cleared of those charges a few months ago, Las Vegas Police Department stated they would reopen the case in the event that any new evidence presents itself. Now, Megan Johnson filed a $5 million lawsuit against Trey Songz after he was caught on camera exposing her breasts while she posed for a photo. In the letter, her attorneys George Rebeck and Ariel Mitchell accused Songz of sexual assault and battery with a reckless disregard for her safety. Now, Johnson at the time was the fourth woman to come forward with claims of sexual assault against the singer in just a matter of months. Then, former UNLV basketball player Dylan Gonzalez came forward in January claiming Trey Songz had allegedly raped her nine years ago. Now, we don't know how true these claims are. I always say that people are innocent until proven guilty. Although these days it seems like it's all about who you know and how much money you have when it comes to these celebrities. I'm not saying Trey is in fact guilty. What I am saying is that where there's smoke, there's fire. However, we can't forget that some of these fans look at these celebrities as money grabs and make these accusations and claims in hopes of making some quick money. These guys got to do better when it comes to choosing their women because this is becoming all too common. Now, Trey Songz does have a not so good reputation with women when it comes to his behavior. There's quite a few women that have accused him of being very snobby and controlling and then throw a fit when he doesn't get his way. And that's just the talks behind the scenes. But as far as this current situation, it's unclear as to why they say he allegedly punched his girl from the bowling alley. Um, what was the motive behind everything? But I'm sure as time go on, we will learn what truly happened and may justice be served for whoever's telling the truth. Now, interesting enough, um, his attorney said this is just another instance where those are involved trying to blame the celebrity with hopes of getting fame or riches. It seems to me like maybe something happened and maybe the victim is just trying to single Trey Songz out for money because he says it's a situation where they're just blaming him, meaning that it could have been somebody else. It could have been, you know, a, a plethora of things, but they're just trying to get the celebrity because, of course, they know that he got the money and regular people fight. You know, it, they just get into it. Somebody may get locked up or they may not. It's just it, it gets thrown under the rug. But whenever a celebrity is involved with anything concerning a regular civilian, you know, they try to sue them press charges sometimes they settle out of court make money that way or sometimes they go forth with the whole thing and they make you know whatever they make at the end of the day it's just a money grab but we don't know how true it is you know i try to hold close regards for everybody's situation until it come out what actually happened so let's see what comes out of this man y'all let me know how y'all feel don't forget to like comment share and subscribe hit that bell so you're notified every time we drop new content and remember as long as you keep on watching i'm gonna keep on dropping and i'm out